In this video, I will demonstrate how to properly use blind spot mirrors. If your vehicle doesn't have blind spot mirrors installed and you want to have it done, see a link to a video in the description below showing how to properly install blind spot mirrors. I also have another video in the description below showing how to properly adjust blind spot mirrors. It is important to properly adjust the blind spot mirrors because if they are not, they will be of no use. Before I get into showing how to use blind spot mirrors on a vehicle, take a look at this scene on the freeway showing blind spot mirrors in action. Here you can see that the vehicle is directly in the rear view mirror. There is no vehicle to the left at the moment. The driver in that vehicle decided to switch lanes to the left to overtake my vehicle. No, the vehicle is visible in the side mirror and not in the blind spot mirror. Suddenly, the vehicle disappears from the side mirror and now appears in the blind spot mirror. There the vehicle goes. Without the blind spot mirror, I would not have been able to see the vehicle without looking over my shoulder, which many drivers do not do enough. I hope you noticed that as soon as the vehicle got out of the range of the side mirror, it got in the range of the blind spot mirror. Not seeing the vehicle in the side mirror and the blind spot mirror at the same time tells that the mirrors are adjusted properly. Let's now go into how to properly use blind spot mirrors. While driving, it is good practice to constantly check your surrounding by monitoring all mirrors. This will allow drivers to be aware of other vehicles before they get in the blind spot zone. Before turning or switching lanes, view your side mirror to see if there is any other vehicle to the side you want to turn. If you don't see any vehicle in your side mirror, that doesn't mean it's safe to turn or switch lanes. Also check the blind spot mirror because when this mirror is properly adjusted, it will give a clear view of the blind spot zone. Here you can see this vehicle in the blind spot mirror yet you are not able to see that same vehicle in the side mirror. It's not safe to switch lanes or turn at this time. It is safe to turn or switch lane when no vehicle is seen in neither the side mirror nor the blind spot mirror. It is also a good practice to view your rear view mirrors as well because some drivers like to speed and can get in your blind spot zone in seconds. Also, while you are turning or switching lanes, Keep your eyes on the blind spot mirror and side mirror to see whether any vehicle enters this zone at high speed. It is important to understand that blind spot mirrors are not substitutes for your side mirrors. Both mirrors should be used together to monitor traffic to the side of the vehicle. Always check both side mirrors and blind spot mirrors before switching lanes and turning. In summary, using your blind spot mirrors properly involves using a combination of side mirrors blind spot mirrors and the rear view mirror all together. So blind spot mirrors are not substituting for side mirrors and rear view mirrors. They provide assistance for monitoring your surrounding. Side mirrors are inexpensive. Even though it's a simple technology that reflects objects, it is just as good as advanced blind spot sensors and optical blind spot cameras. Look out for a video ranking the different ways to monitor the blind spot zone. Let me know in the comments below if a vehicle ever magically appears to the side of your vehicle and you had no idea how it got there. Frightening, isn't it? Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe and share. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. See you on the next one guys.